okay so i learned you muck around with stuff okay so this is very different to school you can call me coach okay or michael coach michael is probably the best combination okay in school everything's given to you on a little spoon and you know like have you seen the bird with a mum bird and it's like shoveling the food into the mouth of the little bird we work here like more like a university okay where you're going to learn when you get stuck i'm going to help you and uh, get ready to make it a real spacecraft here before too long Zero and lift off. Together, just in the last couple of days, uh, the rovers got its rocket jetpack on it, and the jetpack and the rover together have been, have been put in the back shell of the vehicle, and we're, we're right now we're putting the crew stage on. They get ready to make it a real spacecraft here before too long. It's going to be a big push, but that's kind of how the end game goes. We try to get things ready and every last thing has to be done and done right. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to do it. All of our testing on the, in our test bed and on the equipment and going through and looking all the problems we had in our test program, make sure that, that all the problems we found were all solved and that we know what we're going to do and how we're going to fly it. Three, two, one. You're gonna make it pivot the other way. We require our system to be able to be robust to survive a number of different kinds of faults. We've done drop tests, pull tests, drive tests, just an amazing amount of testing this vehicle has gone through, shorted electronics. We've looked to see that the radios all work together, literally thousands and thousands of hours of software testing. Anything you change has to be done with great care and caution. The first uh, rule of engineering uh, this late in the game is do no harm. This is by far the most complex thing we've ever built. It's almost hard to imagine how complex it is. I think she's ready to go.